This is one of those projects where visitors coming for the first time, they, they look up at the steel and they go, wow, that's incredible. I have never seen anything like that before. Well, I've been in the steel business for 40 years and I've never seen anything like this before either. This is as unique as it possibly gets. For months, construction workers at Disney California Adventure have been putting structural steel into place for Cars Land. On Friday, the steel reached its peak at 125 feet as the last beam at approximately 43 feet in length was put into place. The topping out ceremony is an old tradition held at a time when the skeleton of a new building reaches its final there will be 4,000 pounds of steel used in Cars Land, and the Cadillac Range at a length of 430 feet will feature 280,000 square feet of rockwork, the largest at any domestic Disney theme park, even beating out the Matterhorn. It's a maze that can only really be accomplished effectively using 3D technology. The maze of steel is the backdrop for Cars Land and the town of Radiator Springs from the Disney Pixar movie Cars. This is not just a backdrop for Cars Land, but it is home to one of the most exciting attractions that will be in this resort. That attraction is Radiator Springs Racers, where visitors to the park will race side by side in cars based on characters from the movie. When the attraction ends, you burst out of the building after you've met all the characters from the movie, and you go side by side with another car around this high-speed turns. You'll do a couple camelback humps straight ahead to the west, where you'll do another big turn around another big monument that we have yet to build called Willie's Butte into the finish line. Cars Land will feature two other attractions, Luigi's Flying Tires and Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, along with restaurants and shops based on the movie. This moment that we had today is so far three years in the making. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.